Hey, everybody. I'm here with three amazing companies. We've got the National Association of Hispanic Real Estate Professionals, Realtor.com, and Learn More, along with my esteemed colleague, Andrew Real, on the T360 team. This is the first one we are tag teaming um, in anticipation of the T3 Tech Summit. We are 11 days away. I can't believe this. I'm literally putting together presentations like crazy. And I know you guys are getting excited to be out in New Orleans. Um, that's going to be fun. Uh, Jason, you're an established veteran with us and the uh, <laughs> and and the, the, the T3 Tech Summit. So uh, Jason, I'm so excited and honored to have you guys here. We knew going into last year, we couldn't quite pull all the resources together and the story. We really wanted to do something big. Um, with you guys, this year is the year we're here. We got it. We've assembled an amazing cast and crew. Now we're going into year three of the tech summit. Um, I want to ask you a couple questions about your experience at the tech summit. And we really tried to create a new kind of event from the ground up. And every year we're adjusting something this year, we've taken our immersive experiences that were separate and we're actually housing them all inside of this massive technology village, which is wrapped around the stage, which will be pretty fun, creates some logistical challenges, but also going to create a lot of energy um, uh, around this. So as we gear up for the 2024 T3 Tech Summit, what are you most excited about as we roll into this? And you've been an experienced veteran here um, uh, at the Tech Summit. No, absolutely. Well, well, first of all, let me begin before I mention kind of the things I'm excited about. I want to um, start off by thanking you and the entire T3 uh, team, I think, for this collaboration. Um, and, and what I mean by that is that you and the everybody that we've been talking to um, have been so excited about, I think, seeing um, you know this conversation evolve to a broader audience. You know, many times because we are very focused, you know, it's in our name, obviously, Hispanic real estate professionals. We're often just kind of re repeating to ourselves and to others, hopefully in the industry, that they will pay attention to kind of the trends that are happening. And I think being that um, you all see the data, you, you kind of align with that, you're allowing us to create this forum and also validating a lot of the things that we're, we're talking about here. So just beyond our audience, so it's nice that that we can facilitate that. So what, what I'm excited about, and I think what any founder should be excited about, or even an end user, is that you've done a tremendous job, I think, in this event to curate the right people. You've been intentional about not saying, hey, this is the largest event out there. This is the most intentional event, I would say. Intentional in that you have the right types of founders with the right types of products that the end user is looking for. Oftentimes we go to big events, you have a lot of founders, but no end users or, or on the flip side, you know, there's all these end users, but none of them know anything about technology or how to, how to access that. So I think you, you've really found a perfect mix of that. So I congratulate you for that. But I think that that's, that's what I would say is, and that's what I would encourage people to continue going and visiting to this. And, and as we go now into this year, it's, it's about talking about these emerging markets, which we believe, you know, will be the mainstream markets uh, moving forward. We can talk more about that. That's exciting. So give me give me a stat of why the industry should be focused on this area. Well, we like to, we've been throwing this stat around. It's not our stat. Um, it's actually the Urban Institute's statistics that came out back in 2022, uh, which basically states that between uh, 2024, where we are right now, and, to, and, and 2040, um, 70% uh, of net new home buyers will come from the Latino community. So that means that first time home buyers, those are buying 70% of them are coming from that. So that's a pretty huge number. Um, and it's not surprising because um, Latinos also, as of, as of last year, accounted for the largest share of household formation. So about 618,000 household formations above and beyond the average that is out there. So if you're if you're looking to see, hey, am I going to be around um, as a business in the next 10 years? Well, you're not if you're not uh, focused on this on this crucial market. So that's kind of what I would I would say is as my initial uh, mic drop stat. I mean it's it's amazing. I don't yeah. even need to say anything. I don't want to steal the thunder, yeah. uh, the thunderous applause that should come after that. But I love how Andrew said it too is like holy cow, pay attention. And, and we actually stated this several years ago at T360 when the buyer brokerage compensation lawsuits were happening. We were like, pay attention. 
this is going to be big and look where we are now. Um, and so this is another one of those mic drop pay attention moments for the industry. So I'm excited and, and a great organization that is paying attention is our friends at Realtor.com. And Wendy, you're here representing them. You'll be out at the Tech Summit as well. What are you most excited about uh, interacting and learning at the Tech Summit? Yeah, so this is actually our first time uh, attending the Tech Summit and we'll have representatives from our product and our marketing teams there. Uh, we'll share about our latest uh, innovative product experience and what we're bringing there to help people as they're navigating the home uh, journey, whether they're looking to buy, rent, or sell, uh, and also helping agents connect with uh, consumers in order to help them in their buying or selling. Uh, from a marketing perspective, we recently did a buyer agent adv advocacy campaign that we've been pretty excited. We were the first ones in the industry to really speak out about it. And our CEO is very passionate about this, something that we truly believe in here at, at Realtor.com. And the latest phase of that campaign was really uh, we, t we partnered with several organizations, including NAREP, uh, to highlight how this really uh, jeopardizes or it really impacts the people that are uh, don't have as much representation. Uh, for example, one in four home buyers, Hispanic buyers, uh, navigate the entire home buying process in Spanish. And so if you get rid of these agents that speak their language and can truly represent them um, in the best way possible, uh, that's a that's a big hurt and really big thing for them. Um, so overall for the summit, we're excited to share a little bit about ourselves, but also looking forward to hearing more about what other people are doing and seeing where there's opportunity for us to partner with other organizations even further, not only on the buyer agency uh, campaign, but also uh, on other initiatives that we have going on. Nice. Thank you. And, and Leslie, um, anytime you've got a massive movement like this, uh, it can create challenges. It can create challenges from the old way things have been done uh, from a transaction perspective. Uh, Wendy mentioned maybe language barriers and stuff like that. I'm really excited about your guys's product and solutions um, and how it can help bring education, transparency, trust, and understanding to the consumer home buying process. Take us through what you're most excited about learning at the, at the T3 Tech Summit. Thanks, Travis. I'm so excited to talk about Learn More and let people witness it and try it for themselves. Um, I started out as a teacher and I've been in real estate for over 30 years and I've just noticed that people don't know what they're signing and the agents and the brokers aren't giving them the support they need. And that could be because the agents and brokers don't understand it as well either. And especially with the emerging trends of people with English as a second language, Learn More is gonna help create that clarity and understanding. We're dubbed a helping hand to understand because we translate contracts, we give contextual examples, we give layman's term meaning, we give FAQs, um, we give text to speech. And this really helps the consumer understand what they're, what they're signing. It helps brokerages teach their agents and it helps everybody throughout the real estate process all the way around. That's great. And a Andrew, my uh, fellow colleague coming from the brokerage world, um, give us a little bit of insight into what brokers should be thinking, or maybe they aren't thinking that they should be as we roll into the T3 Tech Summit. Yeah, for sure. Um, generally, you know, I spent 15 years in brokerage leadership and, uh, gen and you know, met with other companies across the country, I can say with certainty that generally brokerages are woefully ill-prepared for what's coming. We've, with over 50% home ownership rate in the Hispanic community, we've reached that tipping point and the growth in the coming years is going to be exponential. So if the brokerages, you know, it, it, one of the things that I always like to say is that one of the roles, key roles of a brokerage is to serve the community in which they operate. So if you're not prepared at the brokerage level and you're not helping your agents to be prepared for this exponential growth, you're not serving your community. Uh, yes, you'll leave money on the table also, but the most important thing is not the money in this case, it's serving the community in which you operate. So, you know, uh, I can't stress enough 
uh, the need for education and or tools to help agents serve this population. That's great. Uh, okay, guys, one quick takeaway. Someone's going to walk into your co collective immersive experience in 11 days, 12 days, actually, the second day of the conference. So the explosion of emerging markets, they're going to walk in there. What is the one thing you want them to take away, walk out of there with? Leslie, why don't we start with you? I want them to walk away with there is something to help them through this changing landscape. We can provide the tools to get them through this. And it's not within days, it's within minutes that their cons the consumer can be educated and also their agents with Learn More. Awesome. Wendy, how about you? Yeah. So when it comes to real estate portals, I think uh, we are here for the consumers and agents. Uh, I think especially for consumers, it's uh, navigating the home buying or home search process can be very overwhelming and we've got tools and resources available and can help connect you with an agent that can really help you through that process as well. Awesome. And Jason? Yeah, I would say that they should be encouraged that, um, you know, we're at the table to be collaborative partners and uh, there are a lot of great companies at the table or have been also engaged and develop strategies along the way and have some tremendous learnings, whether you're developing a learning English proficiency type of program or from a marketing aspect or, um, you know, some sort of sales business development approach and um, that we're here to collaborate with you at, at the summit to, to help you get started. That's awesome. Okay. Let's talk about innovation now. One of my babies um, and innovation is all around at the T3 Tech Summit. Jason, you guys have even teamed up with us to host the pitch battle uh, this year. And uh, we've got 16 innovative mm -hmm. companies going head to head. Um, the uh, You've been around the conference. You've seen the cool companies we had last year. We hand select them and curate them. As you say, it is very intentional. Now, looking over the horizon, three to five years from now, what are you hoping to gather as you walk away from the tech summit and you go, that's something I'd love to learn more about or, or innovate with or collaborate with, because I think that's the future. What are you looking to take away? Yeah, I, I think that uh, I'm, I'm hoping, and this is one of the things that is often very common with within the prop tech space is that we're an industry where a lot of money's thrown at, uh, you know, invested in because of the opportunity. Um, and yet the there's a lot of nuances that founders still need to know about. And that's why another reason I encourage a lot of our founders to come to the event, because um, you have the real estate brokers, those that, that understand and the real estate agents and leaders that understand those nuances and can kind of help them. And so that to me is very important proposition to founders to come here to get in front of the actual um, experts in the industry itself and, and, and better execute your go-to-market strategy. But secondly, I think what I'm excited for is I look, as you mentioned, into the future is that this doesn't become a siloed approach to where we're, we're having, we're talking about, oh, here's your kind of Hispanic strategy overall, but that it becomes holistic, becomes strategic, and it becomes natural for, for all of us to be thinking in this way. You know, we're in a country uh, with significant uh, multilingual types of opportunities and different consumers. And this should be no different than as we're talking about, hey, focus on the luxury uh, market. I think that there's an opportunity to serve, better serve the consumers in the waves that are happening. It's already happening. Um, you know, you see not just the interest uh, domestically, but there are uh, several international founders that we work with and others from Latin America as well that see the opportunity of um, this Hispanic marketplace currently, which is um, estimated to be the fifth largest GDP in the world. So if you were just to estimate the economic contributions of Latinos in the U.S., it would account to be the fifth largest economy wow. in the world so in itself. So there's no need to even, even look at emerging economies outside of the U.S. It's, it's, it's here in our own country. So that's my what I would say. Nice. Uh, Leslie, let's go to you. I want to be able to bridge the gap for the most part. There, I want everybody to feel comfortable in the transaction that they're participating in, whether it's the brokerage or the consumer. I want them to feel that they are important to us and 
they are valuable and they want, we want to remain valuable as agents as well. And by bridging that gap, we're going to offer them the tools that they need to have a transparent, clear transaction. And I think our industry as a whole has to do a better job in this area because as even now we're, you know, we've got the buy side uh, conversation and the, and the sell side and they're starting to kind of separate and there's, there's still uncertainty on the buy side. We got We have a new survey that we'll be releasing very soon. Um, and it's surprising uh, how many people are still, you know, head stuck in the sand and stuff like that. So as your product uh, continues to evolve with the industry, I can see the transparency becoming more and more important as the complexity becomes more and more complex in the industry too. So that's exciting. Wendy, take us home um, on the horizon. What are you most excited about kind of learning or seeing at the T3 Tech Summit? Yeah, I think we're always looking for opportunities of uh, to partner with organizations or even new uh, technology that is available to make that home search process easier and more convenient and obviously more innovative from our end uh, for consumers. Um, I think as well uh, with this growing market and some of the other groups that are also growing tremendously, uh, seeing how better we can uh, help them in that process. And then uh, I think overall, just it's our first year, like I said, attending this event. So seeing where can we come in stronger and uh, how, what can we bring to the table next time if we were to come. So thank you. Well, I heard intentional, uh, integrate, collaborate, partner. Those are all words that are at the core of this event. Um, and so thank you all for helping tell this monumental story. Um, we do believe in this and uh, we're all going to uh, come out in 12 days stronger as an industry. We have the ability to shape the industry. So thank you all for being here and have a wonderful day. We'll see you in 12 days. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Travis.